I'm gonna share a secret about cleaning that might actually save your life. But first you might be thinking, what the hell do you mean a cleaning tip might save my life? And this is from somebody who produces her own cleaning products. So I have a little knowledge in this area. I'm gonna share a story with you of a time that somebody actually passed away from doing this thing I'm gonna tell you not to do. So what is that thing? It's mixing chemicals. It's mixing chemicals. Something you've probably done before. If you haven't done it before, you would have seen it done because it's like every second cleaning video on the internet is using more than one cleaning chemical. It is such a trend for people with these beautiful aesthetic houses to get their little jugs and they show you like mix a bit of this and mix a bit of this and mix a bit of this and you've got a cleaning product. You just don't need to be doing that. I don't know why people think that if you mix two things, it's gonna make a more powerful formula. It's not how it works. You aren't a chemist. Why don't you just keep them separate? No offense. Let's talk a little bit about the pH scale because that's where our knowledge needs to be for us to understand why we shouldn't be mixing chemicals. On the pH scale, we have pH neutral products. They're sitting right in the middle and they're generally the safest thing that you can clean with. Then we have our alkaline products, also known as bases, and we have our acids. When we mix the bases and the acids together, we get bad things. Bad things start to happen. And you might've seen an example of this, a very gentle example of this, is bicarb or baking soda mixed with vinegar, makes a cute little explosion. Very safe little experiment to do. Most of us have done it in primary school. If you were to put that in a closed container and the pressure build up, you could get an explosion, but it's nothing to worry about that one. Mix bleach with vinegar on the other hand, and what you'll get is a toxic gas you can't escape. Chlorine gas, ammonia and vinegar. Toxic gas you can't escape. Toxic gas was used in World War I as part of chemical warfare. Toxic gas is not something that you want happening while you're cleaning your shower. And there are old wives tales that have been passed down where dish soap gets mixed with bleach to make a more powerful mixture. But dish soap often contains ammonia and ammonia and bleach when mixed together can make you really ill. You need to understand what the exact ingredients are of the chemicals that you're mixing. And that is very hard to know because the regulations around labeling cleaning products aren't like the food or beauty industry. So often ingredients aren't there. So you can't really know what you are safely or unsafely mixing. Now for my story where it resulted in somebody's death, in 2019 in Massachusetts, a restaurant worker was cleaning the floor mixed two different chemicals together caused a toxic gas. He was trying to squeegee it down the drain and he was overcome. He was taken to hospital and he passed away. 10 other workers in that restaurant were hospitalized. This is serious guys, this is serious. Here are my tips for when cleaning with chemicals. Firstly, is to read the label and use as instructed. And secondly, is that the only thing that you should really ever be mixing is water to dilute a product or baking soda with hydrogen peroxide or detergent to make a paste. Everything else, use it separately. So one is to use it as instructed, and two is to just use things separately. Clean with one product, clean with another product. You don't need to mix them. You don't know how that's gonna react. Next is to always keep the place well ventilated. If you're using an acid or a base by itself even, it will give off a toxic fume in many cases like bleach or your acids. So use a mask, goggles, gloves, and well ventilated area. And next is to store them safely. Just recently in Sydney, we had a pool evacuated, families and children evacuated because pool chemicals were accidentally combined and the fire brigade had to be brought in. If you don't understand chemicals, just don't mix the cleaning products. There are so many other ways you can do it. And if you'd like to talk more about it, leave me a comment and I'd love to hear, have you ever mixed cleaning chemicals or thought about mixing cleaning chemicals? Let's talk about it.